my friend and welcome! Thank you for taking time to join me. I am Orjax. This is Abandoned Ship. I am so very excited to share this with you. I got uh, early access, embargo access to this game to share you right as soon as the game is available for purchase. So, down in the description below is uh, the uh, link to the game. You can buy it on Steam and it is out now when this episode is releasing. Um, and also, you may notice as you watch this series that there will be no ads on it, and that is because my channel is supported by my Patreon uh, supporters. There's a link down to that below uh, if you want to enable me to do the things that I like to do. We're going to make a new game here. Here we go. My adventure. We're going to say my demise. Very nice. Tutorials on. Yes. Difficulty normal. Uh, player generated names. Yes, please. World seed. That's fine. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. A wild chorus, the birth of a monster. <clears throat> In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity, the horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Flee this accursed place. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shocked surprise registers on the second before he too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon, a small idol of father. It is cracked and has cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside you snaps back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safe, safest route to freedom. You stride into the prison with feigned authority. No matter, the place is unguarded in our, no, their, moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile, so you grab the keys from the guardroom and approach the prisoners. Who will we unlock first? Press the unlock button to release a new crew member. Uh, Navigator, Gunner, Baldy Locks, Farabee, Dead Be Calmer, Haven, and Jeff. The Gunner is an expert at reloading. Marine is a trained fighter for boarding. Surgeon can heal. Sailor can repair the ship. Let's get a Navigator. Uh, unlock. There it is. Uh, which poor cur will you save next? Uh, kind of want a gunner. Pretty sure I'm going to want a gunner. Boarding, sick bay, or repair. Um, we're going to get... My name is Jeff. You and your new companion surge through the labyrinthine passages. Finally, a door... Light seeps through the cracks in the frame. Burst through the door. You close your eyes for a moment as the sea breeze brushes your face. Looking down the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for. A ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our ship. Alright, select crew members. All aboard, gentlemen. Move the crew by right-clicking. Cut the ropes. Get our navigator up to the helm here. Gunner, man the guns. Sailor, also man the guns. I, okay, here we go. Our sailing adventure begins. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away. A high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, other cultists disperse, no doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. They'll be sending ships after us. Let's get out of here. Coastal fortifications open fire. Mortar shells incoming. Uh, probably split up a little bit. A mortar shell has reduced him to zero health. Uh, nope. Definitely gonna need you to not be dead. Oh, heal the guy. 
I was repairing the... Alright, that's good. The barrage has damaged the ship hull. Okay. That's the hull. Divided into sections. Ah, the gulp. Yellow means it's 50% effective. Red means it won't function at all. You, please repair that. You do that. You fix that. You grab the helm. And you repair there. Healing crew. Go heal thyself. I should probably wait until it asks me to do stuff, just so I'm not messing anything up. My name is Jeff. It's not over yet. Take cover. There's no cover to take. Why, why would you tell me to do such a thing? Ooh, we got a hole. We've been hit by a weapon that causes hull cracks. These splinter the deck and make the ship take on water. There's a water gauge above the hull health. If this reaches the top, the ship will sink. Listen for the ship bell. This will warn you when the water gauge has reached critical le levels. It will also sound when your health is dangerously low. Act decisively when you hear the bell or you may sink. You know what? Don't tell me what to do, game. You're not my general. Right, you get on there, you get on there. Oh, the bilge. Alright, bilge pumpers. Here we go. We're nearly out of range. One more barrage coming. Oh, tutorialed! Alright. We've been struck by a weapon with flaming ammunition and a fire has broken out. Yes, please put out the fires. Dows, 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 dows. Dows, dows, dows. We're out of range, but stay alert, men. We've come back. Uh, oh, this is lovely. You're in great danger while you're so close to the cult. Oh, I missed it. Okay, you can move your ship by clicking on an area. If you prefer to hold down, you can whole map by clicking the highlighted button. Oh damn, that's sexy. This is a map of the immediate area. If you wish to travel to a new area, you must go through the gate that has been highlighted at the bottom of the screen. The other gates cannot be opened yet. Oh, what's this then? Navigate over to the gate at the bottom of the map. Uh, you know, I kind of don't really want to do that yet. I'm going to explore. No, you're in great peril. Can you crash the ship? Look look at what a good captain is. I get a ship, and the very first thing I do is to see if it crashes. Pro tip, it does not. Oh, man. What was that game on PlayStation 2 that you got credits for uh, unlocking the whole map? Uh, Shining Force Neo? Shining Force Exa? I loved those games dearly. Navigate to the gate. Navigate. Come on, there's nothing? You've got to kid me. Oh, I love the texture. And it's got the it's got the edge of the painting and everything. They really nailed the uh Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't know ships could do this. <laughs> they really nailed the art style. This is beautiful. Oh, right, 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 right. Looks like we got some like sandy shoals going on. I love the the texture over top of the water too. Beauteous. Okay. Here we go! I know there's a reason I stuck around here. Look at that. Some free goodies. It's, uh, pity pennies for my tutorial. Lovely. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I should also say, um, 
some of you might already know this. Probably most of you don't, though. Uh, I am a moderator on the uh, Abandoned Ship subreddit. Um, the gate is locked. Lock gates can be opened by completing a set number of events. Okay, left click to sail to it. This will trigger the event. We'll do that in a minute. Um, I am a moderator, one of the moderators on the Abandoned Ship subreddit, so I would encourage you to go check that out as well, as the, uh, the developers have put out um, quite a few uh, pretty nice devlogs. So if game dev is something that you're into, there's some meat on the bones there. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that... Uh, Traffic picks up and the at the uh, abandoned ship subreddit before long. Oh, look at that! The way it's that reminds me of uh, of uh, Thor. You know that big long walkway that's got it's like a walkway made out of light or whatever. All right, I think I think we've looted everything. Looks like you can left click or right click. All right, that's really, truly everything. Screw you, cultists. You're a bunch of jerks. Just thought you might like to know about that. <clears throat> Here we go. Boink. A patrolling cult ship has stumbled upon us. Man the guns, we owe them no mercy. Do we, though? All right, let's pause. You go here, you go here. You go here. Remember the lessons you've learned. All right, I mean... I'll try. Weapons reloading. They reload after a certain amount of time. Keep them manned until they change. Okay. That I can do. It's just a little cultist ship. He's just a little guy. Oh, dang, they're shooting at us. Open fire, left click. Move it over the, their ship and right click to confirm the order. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, of course, I'm going to shoot where they're at. Yes, of course I will. Once you dismiss this, you can give uh, issue orders while the game is paused. Make use of this if things are spiraling out of control. Crew specialist. My name is Jeff. Active pause. You can hover over... Hover the mouse over any object or UI and gain additional information. When you've issued orders, unpause the game. All right. Distance bar. Let's get close. Let's give them snuggle hugs. Yes. <clears throat> chain shot, chain shot. Chain shot, chain shot can only aim at the sails, but deals high damage to them when it's ready to fire left click. Move the crosshair over the sails when it turns white. When it turns white, right click to fire. Bang. Screw you, sails. Oh, I'm coming for you, swiggity swooty. I'm coming for that hull. Ouch. All right, we're fine. Everything's good. Wang. Grape shot. Damaging their mass sections into the med red made it easier to catch up. Now you're at close distance. Use the swivel gun. Uh, this one's a grape shot. Anti-personnel. Man it and get it fully loaded. All right. Everyone do a little... We're going to do a little shift a -rooney. We'll go for two guys. Bang! Charging! 
Okay. Uh, you can perform special maneuvers like this when the maneuver bar is full. Charge when someone is manning the helm. Someone with a high navigation will level it faster. Now that it's full, do the ram. Brace for impact. The enemy failed their brace test. The impact caused one of their crew to be knocked overboard. They can man the winch at the back of the ship to save uh, to save them. If they don't make it in time, they will drown. Your own winch is highlighted. If any of your crew are in the water, be sure to man the winch and rescue them. Finish them off. Uh, you can even choose to board them. Let's board them. We haven't uh, we haven't done that yet. Kill this dude. No, you don't. No, you don't. Son of a gun. Good work, guys. Everyone go heal thyself. All right, you go here. You go here. Hey, there we go. Victory. Grab what you can and be quick about it. More ships will be on their way. At the end of the battle, you are able to salvage anything of value in this tutorial combat... The enemy did not react as aggressively as, as they would normally, so be prepared for a tougher fight next time. Okay. Happens automatically when you go to the exploration map. As long as you have water pumps, going back to the exploration mode will automatically empty your water gauge too. Oh, what? Wait, what? No. <laughs> Okay, we can keep shooting at their thing. So I can get two dudes on the cannons and make it reload even faster still. That is actually quite good to know. I kind of want to sink this just to make a uh, complete... Here we go. Alright, whatever. I got bored. <laughs> here we go! Okay, what do we got here? This is the world map. It shows which other exploration areas you can travel to from your current gate. Travel between has a supplies cost. Left click on another map to set your destination. Away we go! See ya! Ain't nobody got time for cultists. You announce to the crew that you need to take stock and are not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabins, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupants before the cult had their way with the ship. Wink! It feels good to be finally out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them away neatly, knowing you may yet have their use. Okay. <clears throat> you don't even recognize the face looking back at you. Who are, were you? All you're certain of is that your past was stolen away by a being you know as Father. Some spark within you pierced the fog of your blind devotion. Now you must kindle it if you're to have any chance of remaking yourself. Then the hunt for answers and revenge can begin. Skin tone. Let's go like that. We're going to be slightly tanned. And the lady is not unlocked yet, unfortunately. More jacks are captain. Okay. Wonderful. You reemerge onto the deck and the crew snap to attention. We may have escaped, you begin, but we're, we are not safe yet. We must make port and then go our separate ways. It's me they're after. You return to their cabin and slump into a chair. Moments later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. Still loved and always in his thoughts, you were the first. What? But he knew something within you had changed. Thus you were marginalized, became a symbolic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength. Little by little, the fog was clearing. Oh, this is rad. Sharp knock on your door snaps you awake. Moments later, you stride back on the deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We'll need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. 
Okay, let's see our ship. This is the lone ship view. It allows you to change your default settings that will be used in combat. Preferred distance, let's click right there. Saving crew positions. Arrange your crew in the most optimal locations and press the highlighted button to save their location. Last save position. Oh, okay, so you can tell them to... I want to start off with loading stuff. There we go. If you ever need to return your crew to their save locations, you can press the highlighted button. That one can be used to bring the ship about in battle. This can only be performed if your maneuver bar is fully charged. Here you can set your pref preferred side to face the enemy. Uh, this can be useful if you equip each side with different styles of weapons, such as one with short range and the other with longer range. Interesting. Alright, back to the map. You must continue trying to escape the cult by fleeing from this exploration map. Locate the exit and complete the required number of events to unlock, unlock it. Searching, searching, searching. Flee the area. Hello, what's this then? A distant cult ship has been spotted. You lean both hands against the uh, rail and stare at the vessel with unwinking concentration, watching as it maintains its divergent course. It looks like they haven't seen you. We can't risk them having spotted us. The risk is too great. Attack, and then we can drink and sleep easy. Do not deviate from our bearing. I want to be alerted to the tiniest change in their course. I think we need to murder them. For a while, you wonder if the cult vessel is going to flee, but slowly it wheels around to meet you. The ship is a hive of activity as they prepare for battle. Hello! Oh, my friends. Doink. Doink. Let's go for this. Woo! You got some firepower in them. Uh, please repair the sails. Why not? Let's get everyone on the cannons. This is madness. Okay, what needs to be repaired? The sails do still. So you work on that big guy. Uh, you know what? We're gonna jump on here and get ready for uh, a little closer ramming. Good, good, good. All right. <clears throat> We're navigating closer. They're trying to range away from us. Okay, time to repair. Um, hop on that. Ah, jeez. Alright, we're gonna go for the sails. Getting closer. Oh, jeez, our sails are... Rather damaged. God darn it. They're pulling away. Go ahead and man this. We're gonna just leave that the uh Oh fix the leaks, fix the leaks. We're gonna leave the helm for the moment. For the nonce. Okay, that's, uh, that's the end of them. Go heal up and stuff. Alright, well, you know, maybe, uh, more cannons is better than maneuvers at the moment. With the enemy vanquished, you go about salvaging anything left of value. You think how easily the situation could be reversed. Yes, alas, it could have. 
What if I just put everyone on the guns to start off with? Is that crazy town? Save positions. Everyone repair that. Man positions. Alright, leave combat. Good. There's those suckers done with. Suckies. Oh, I love the gold. I do love me some gold. One of four, so we need to uh, engage more cultists. Either friendly or... Oh, jeez. Our ship hull is more damaged than I would like. Alright, we'll come back to that in a moment. So ramming right now is one way that we have to potentially make the enemy fall off their ship. Yeah. I'm going to save that. I'm, I'm going to save that for possible ramming. There's a second one. That we have found... There's the third one just south of us. I'm going around for gold because I think it's going to make the biggest difference early on here. Bandaba. All right. <clears throat> now we know where all the enemies are. That is good. I'm going to navigate about just a bit. All right. Once we've uh, cleared the map, I'm going to engage in the other uh, fights and see if they are actually fights or if they don't want us to fight. Because we're at, like, we've lost a third of our health. And that is dangerous. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Well, uh, I've got a little bit of map left. I think to spice things up, we're going to uh, touch base right here. But also, it's the end of the episode. So, I hope you enjoyed Abandoned Ship so far. Two cult ships are headed towards you from opposite directions. It's a classic pincer movement. The next seconds will decide your fate. Which order will you give? Our only hope is to li deliver a knockout blow to the first ship. Uh, give them hell or make a gap between them both and put your backs into it for dear life um well uh we'll decide next episode thank you so much for watching please enjoy this uh this cliffhanger if you liked this episode and if you like uh if you want to see more of this you got little youtube buttons down below at your disposal and once again thank you to all of my patreon supporters for helping me do the things that i do all right goodbye for now